Hi, I'm Brian Francis from Billy Beck III Personal Training and Performance Center. And today I'm going to show you how to exercise in a gym. Most people are clueless as soon as they walk through the door, and it takes a lot of courage just to step foot in the door. So today I'm going to show you what a basic exercise protocol would look like from the time you come in till the time you leave. Now the first thing you do when you come into the gym is we want to make sure we get the body warmed up. So very simply, you could either go on the elliptical, go on the treadmill, or go on the stairs. Only about five to 10 minutes. The only thing we want to do here is get the heart rate up, generate some type of body heat in the tissue. Second thing, this is basically the meat and potatoes of the workout. What we want to do is do some resistance training. What we're going to show you is a four exercise circuit that's going to challenge both the lower body and the upper body. So the first movement Lauren's going to do is called a dumbbell split squat. So she's going to grab a pair of dumbbells, she's going to split her stance, and what she's going to do is drop the back knee down, come close to the ground, and come up. Drop right back down, and come up. What she'll do is 12 on each leg. As soon as she's done with that, she's going to move over to the bench. The bench is going to be in an upright position, and what she's going to do is go into an overhead press. So we went from a lower body movement now to an upper body movement challenging the shoulders. She'll do 12 of these. As soon as she's done here, she's going to go right back to those dumbbells, setting them on the ground, and she's going to do a squat jump. So this is her second leg movement in that four exercise circuit. She'll do 12 squat jumps, and then last movement in the circuit, she's going to pick the dumbbells back up again, and she's going to do a bent over dumbbell row. This is going back to the upper body, it's going to challenge the back. So we did a lower body movement, an upper body movement, back into a lower body movement, and finally back into an upper body movement. And then lastly, as soon as you're done with your resistance training, what we want to do is cool down. So do some type of stretches. You can go back on the elliptical or the treadmill again, but make sure we cool the body down. I'm Brian Francis, and this has been How to Exercise in a Gym.